Hey, this is Ron, a.k.a. Gadget Man. Today is uh, May the 24th, 2010. Yeah, and we're going to, retu we're returning now to uh, 2000, is that right? 2000 Avalon? Oh, 96 Avalon, right? 96 Toyota Avalon. 96, 96 Toyota, I'm sorry, I probably couldn't see them there, but, uh, you know, that's what we get, we're a professional cameraman here. <laughs> anyway, uh, did the modification originally last fall on this Avalon, and the horsepower, well, well, I think I'll just let Dave tell you the story because we've we put probably twenty or thirty thousand miles on it since then. About you know. So, but let, let me introduce you, uh, David. Why don't you why don't you tell us who you are? Hi, my name is Dave Hall. How you doing? All right. And uh, tell us. Part of my '96 Avalon. All right. Let's get a look at it here. Oh, little ding on the fender. I remember when you called me when that happened. Just be careful of parking lots, folks. <laughs> All right. So, so tell us about your experience with uh, the Gadget Man Groove, Dave. Well, Ron did the groove. What, last fall, like you said? Mm -hmm. I'd say definitely notice an increase in power right off the bat. And uh, to these six engines, to start off with, it didn't meet, need much help, but it's just a lot more throttle response right off the bat. Um, lower emissions, I noticed right away as well, as a nice byproduct. And uh, increased fuel mileage. How'd you notice the emissions? Yep, you know, just you can tell. Yeah, the smell? The smell, yep. yeah. Just put your nose right down near the tailpipe. Don't stick your nose in it. Some people do. Yeah. <laughs> they get up on that. Don't do that. That's <laughs> like sniffing glue, brother. I hear they have a 12 step program for that. Uh, so, for those people, I hope they do. Uh, Muffler Suckers Anonymous. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. disgusting. All right. So, so Dave, we've, we've, we've been a number of places in this. Like, won't you tell them about the travels you've had since I did the modification? And Aside from a lot of city driving, Ron and I recently did, about two weeks ago, we did a trip up to St. George's, Utah, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I don't know. Um, 500 miles. I, it's 500 I'm, some odd mile trip. Uh -huh. And um, I, I would say we, we averaged about four, 540 miles uh -huh. on one tank of gas, one tank of fuel. Uh -huh. And if we didn't have to divert, getting back into Flagstaff, there was a brush fire on the highway, and we had to divert to the Grand Canyon, which added another three hours to the trip. Yeah. But that car easily would have made it from St. George, Utah, all the way back down to Phoenix and would have had some gas left in the tank, probably about a quarter tank left. Do you remember what our mileage was when we were going through the mountains? Uh, about 46 miles a gallon. Well, it was 46 on the highway here, mm -hmm. I remember that. So it was like 34 in the mountains up through Grand Canyon? That would be about right, actually. I correct yeah. that. About yeah. 34, 35 miles a gallon. Yeah. And, uh, so in the mountains. So, no AC. So what, what do you think about your 46 miles of the gallon Avalon now? Well, I... For me, I think it's fantastic, and I mention my mm -hmm. car to a lot of people, and I get these uh, looks of disbelief. They shake their head and go, you know, that doesn't seem possible mm -hmm. with a car with an engine that size. And yeah. I say, well, it happened. Mm -hmm. It's my car. I drive it every day. I know exactly mm -hmm. what it's doing. Yeah. Now, you've, you've been around me for a while now, Dave, and you've got to see me do a lot of cars, and you've heard a lot of uh, first-hand testimonies that we didn't get on video. Can you, can you tell the audience out here uh, anything in particular that sticks out in your mind about your experiences here? With me? With you, Ron? Yeah, as Gadget Man. Uh -huh. I'd say Ron is a very earnest individual who is mm -hmm. basically um, seeking to um, improve fuel mileage, lower emissions, and definitely um, is, is uh, his main concern, I would say, would be customer satisfaction mm -hmm. off the bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, too, um, a lot of the modifications, he is, is ceaseless in his... Uh, in his care towards the engines that he works on. Oh, thank you. And for each and every person I've seen, yeah. and that's the, that's the God's honest truth right there. Thank you, Dave. You know? Thank you. I was really just um, asking about the technology and how many good results you've seen. Well, <laughs> but that was good. I that was good. It. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the truth, though. I mean, the truth is, um, you know, you do a lot of good work, and you, you definitely care about the work that you do, and I think that's that's job number one right there off the bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, aside from the work that I, I believe to be genuine, mm -hmm. Thank and you. Uh, I really do. You know, I believe in, in the process, the process, of course, mm -hmm. um, after you have the modification done to your car, if you choose to do so, is to, uh, is like we just finished doing on my Avalon, we just ran through, you know, uh, vacuum checks on the engine and stuff like that, because that's in conjunction with the, with the, uh, the mod that you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, just, oh, the yeah, yeah. just the mod, what happened to your power? Just the mod. Kicks ass. Okay. I just, I just, all I did, folks, all I did on this car was I found one line, the positive crankcase ventilation line, which is just a vent needs to let pressure off the engine so that you don't blow oil out your seals. What I did was I disconnected and let, let it vent like it's supposed to, just sticking up in the air, and then I put a cap on that vacuum port, and then I asked Dave to take it for a drive. Dave, you want to tell them about the results of that? Even more kick. 
Even more, even more kick? kick. How yeah. did you get more kick? <laughs> well, we're working on that. Working on that, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, 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 we are. So, yeah, listen. So, is there anything you want to tell everybody out there in Gadget Man Land? I would say to the people out in Gadget Man Land, uh, those of you who are are considering having the modification done and uh, following through the process in an earnest manner, mm -hmm. I would I would urge you to do this. Um, mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, we're looking at recent events on mm -hmm. the Gulf Coast right now. And uh, mm -hmm. we're seeing just an incredible waste of fuel, oil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, crude, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And we all know that it's it's a diminishing, um, it, it's a finite resource, yeah. I would say. Yeah. And uh, to me, as an individual, it makes perfect sense to do things like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, to uh, you know, there's there's been other other things that we've done to my engine as well. Mm -hmm. And I, not being a serious car guy, I'm mm -hmm. turning into one as as. The further along I get with uh, You'll never be a serious car guy. No. You're a guitar picker. <laughs> well, I'm a guitar picker, yeah. I'm very serious about that. But I, I, just, I see the, the, uh, the need for, for uh, this type of work be, uh -huh. being done on engines. And I, I would urge anybody I speak to or Ron speaks to to really seriously consider this type of work. All right. Um, you know, if you're, if you're looking to uh, you know, increase your mileage and increase your throttle body response as well in your car, just have some good plain fun. And, uh, of course, everyone wants to decrease their emissions as well, uh -huh. which is just plain smart. Uh -huh. um, when you go get smogged and stuff like that, you really don't have to worry about that after you get this process done because the whole process adds up to a much uh, more clean burn in your fuel system and yeah. your throttle body. You have learned a lot, Dave. You really have. I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, it you seems kind of slow, but, you know, right. I am a guitar player, and they, uh -huh. there's thousands of jokes out there about us guitar players. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm certainly one of them. What's what's your YouTube channel, Dave? My YouTube handle would be Tehachapi Dave, and I urge you to look it up sometime. Yeah, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get him to do another video or two. I pretty need to soon. do a couple more videos. Yeah, I need to get busy on that. But uh, I can show you a thing or two if you'd like. Look me up and uh, look me up and give me a call. Yeah, shoot him an email. Yeah, to hear from you. Dave's good people. All right, so once again, guys, you you hear it from from another satisfied customer. Grant, he's a friend of Very mine. Very satisfied. But he wasn't a friend of mine when I did the mod. Uh, we became friends as soon as he realized how much more power he got out of his car. I think that was a big help. Well, that, that had something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Good person's a good person. So, 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 Dave, what would you tell all the other Avalon owners out there? About get the it done. Get, get busy. Done. Get it done. All right. get, get her done. Get busy. Um, I mean, I love my car when I got it. I got this car last December, and I, I, I drove it off a lot, and I thought, I'm this is more car than I really need because I was used to driving four-cylinder vehicles most of the time, Hondas and Escorts and, and so on and so forth. always loved those cars, but I sat behind the wheel of this and I took it up on the I-17. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me about 10 or 15 minutes to get real used to this car. And I love this car just the way it was, lock, stock, and barrel. And then after having the modifications done and the other various tinkerings that we've done to further increase the modification itself, uh, I, I'm just I'm extremely pleased, and I urge you all to do the same. Oh, and all, all he's talking about the other tinkering is all I did was take out his factory st spark plugs, put in aftermarket spark plugs, and drill a hole through the center of the tang on the end of it. But anyway, uh, so here you go again, guys. Once again, from Gadget Man Land, this is Ron Hatton signing off, saying remember to smile for a stranger today. Hell, smile for two. <laughs> You'll both be glad you did. God bless you all. Richly and warmly. Adios, folks.